We have Bryce Hoff. Oh, okay. Okay, linebacker mm -hmm. from Memphis. Okay. Have a seat, Bryce. Let's have some fun, man. How you doing? You doing all right? Well, let's get you over on the mic here. Let's get you going. Okay. All right, man. So how you feeling first and foremost? Wait a minute. I don't, I don't hear the mic here. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I feel great. Okay, there you go. So uh, talk to me a little bit about the experience of being here and – do you get nervous having to deal with all the NFL people? Because I'm sure you guys don't get nervous when, you know, jerky media people or fans yeah. are in the stands. That's, that's normal for you. You've been doing that for a while. But when you have the ultimate critical eyes watching you, walk, walk us through that. Um, in my, from my uh, perspective, I really just see it as coming out here and being my true self and just really being um, authentic with everyone out here scouting me and my abilities and my uh, personality. So I just come out here and I, I just do me. So I really don't get nervous. Okay. All right. So, so uh, what do you do to prepare to play football? How do you how do you pick yourself out? How do you get yourself prepared for all this kind of stuff or a game? Uh, for me, I really just stretch, make sure I'm flexible, loose, and I listen to music to uh, calm my nerves a bit and just get in the zone. All right. And, and so so far, how do you feel you've measured up? I feel like I've done pretty well these first two days. Uh, I'm, I'm really hard on myself, so I, I know I can always get better, but I feel like these first two days are going well. Uh, Memphis is, uh, you know, a, a team that's uh, on, the, on the rise now yes, over sir. the last couple of years in, in football. You got to like, Bryce, what you guys have been able to do and been able to build up there. Uh, yes, sir. Coming in, uh, it was really just a culture change, and uh, everybody just got on board and really started doing things for the better, holding each other accountable, and really just working hard. So uh, this season was really uh, a showcase for how much better we've gotten over the years. And you're, you guys are becoming like running back you now. Yeah, kind of. Uh -huh. have tons of good running backs. Yeah, you, I, there's one here now, right? You got a team? Don't you got a teammate here? Is uh, it here or next week? Where is uh, it? He, he's next week at yeah, uh, the Senior Bowl. Yeah, he's next week at the Senior Bowl. I know. I know. Antonio Gibson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's uh, so. What, what what's in the water in Memphis that you guys are getting all these running backs now, man? I couldn't tell you. Uh -huh. Just good coaches, I would say, and yeah. they're good at scouting, good talent too. So, when you're turning a program around like you guys have over the last couple of years, what's what's that feeling like of knowing that you're you're gaining that respect around the country? Oh, it's a really good feeling just seeing how your hard work is starting to translate over to the field and how people are starting to respect you more around the country, really. Uh, we've gotten multiple opportunities to showcase our abilities on national stages, like college game day. We had, we've had the primetime game multiple weekends in a row. So it was a really good feeling to go out and show people what we've done behind the scenes. So, Bryce, uh, what convinces you you can play at the next level? Uh, really just my work ethic, uh, seeing how hard work really pays off over the years uh, as far as getting bigger, faster, stronger, working better technique, uh, just having a relentless mindset going up against guys that are like just as good as you on that same level, uh, NFL level talent, you know, really going out and, and showing that I can do the same thing that I did in Memphis here against top level guys. Uh, really just boosts my confidence even more coming out here. You know, I feel like at the end of the day, hard work always pays off. Hard work trumps talent, and at the end of the day, I'm just a really hard worker. Is there a guy you you look up to in the NFL that kind of you know motivated you? Uh, I would say uh, Aaron Donald is really a good one. You know. Yeah. I talk, it's a completely different position. It is, but you can still learn from him. I mean, I watched some of his interviews, and he talks about how his dad used to push him back when he was younger and how he used to always harp on how important hard work was. I mean, everybody can see how good Aaron Donald is. I mean, it, it really has paid off for him. So that same hard work can pay off for me. I just keep taking it up a notch every, every time I get in the weight room, every time I hit the field, just continue to take my game to the next level. Bryce, do, do you realize, because, you know, there's a lot of young guys sometimes that – you're all blessed because obviously the good Lord blessed you with the ability to play this game and play it at a high level. But it's the guy that knows that mentally and also knows how to take care of himself off the field, the guy that works the hardest in that film room, the guy that prepares the hardest, is usually the guys that succeed in the NFL, mm -hmm. the guys that are, that are willing to work and get the knowledge. It's not so much the physical ability. You kind of almost tapped out at that point, you know yeah, what I mean, in physical definitely. ability. Do you realize that kind of stuff? Oh uh, yes, sir. I mean, there's always there's always room for improvement in every aspect of somebody's game. So uh, I I definitely see how how 
that physical the physical standpoint, like how the physical assets kind of uh, they hit a hit a uh, a benchmark almost. And the people that continue to escalate are the ones that do the extra work in the weight room, do the extra work in the film room. So I, I can definitely see that. How much film do you watch? Is that something you enjoy doing? Yes, sir. I, I enjoy watching film. Just seeing seeing some plays that I made that I didn't realize I made or like working a move that I didn't realize I worked. Just it, it being second nature at this point, it, it really uh, it really is a cool thing to do for myself. Just watching film and learning from myself. So today I'm watching your drills and. You're young, so I don't know how much you know about the game. I don't know if you're a historian, but dude, you're being coached by Willie McGinnis. Yes, sir. I mean, that's super freaking cool. Yeah. Like, I, like I, I watched that man's career in college in the NFL because I'm old enough, obviously. Mm. And he's a beast, bro. I mean, yes, this sir. is a hell of a player. What, do you realize that? Do you yes, know sir, about I do. him? They, they introduced him to us uh, before we started uh, before we started doing everything. So did you so. Google him? Did you What did you do? YouTube? Yes, did you know already about him, or did you have to go look up, look him up? No, they, they kind of just told us about him. Okay. Yes, so Okay, because he is one of those guys you definitely want to – he still looks like he can play too, huh? How about <laughs> yes, that? How about that? He said that's amazing. So um, talk a little bit about the challenge this week for you. What are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying – what's the knock that Bryce Huff is trying to shake that people say? Um. Most of I feel like the biggest knock for me is uh, people thinking that I can't move well uh, going backwards, like in coverage and space. And I, I feel like I've been able to come out here and show my clo my closing speed, being able to shut down an edge, my reaction time. Um, really, they haven't moved me to middle linebacker uh, yet this week. I don't I don't know if they will or not, but uh, if they do, that'll be another another opportunity to show something that people don't think I can do. But uh, for now, I'm just going to continue to dominate the edge and. Uh, when that time comes, whether, whether it be at the combine or the pro day, uh, showing my coverage skills and showing my ability to open my hips and really move and cover some ground, uh, that's when I'll take advantage of that. So. Who, who's been impressive for you out of the tight ends and the running backs coming out of the backfield catching passes? Um, I honestly can tell you, I'm, I'm down, I'm more of a rush in outside linebacker uh -huh. up in the uh, front. Right, so, right. So I'm not really in the coverage. Uh, not yet, right? Not yet. No okay, sure. all right, all right. Because uh, uh, the, the North Dakota State tight end, mm -hmm. that kid's been impressive, man, the he first is. couple of days. Yes, sir, I feel like the. Uh, the one so I was wondering if you've, if you've noticed it. That's oh, why. Yes, yeah, I, I did notice him. And also the, uh, the guy from Tennessee yes. is pretty good. He's, a, uh, he's, a, he's physical for a tight end, for sure. And uh, I haven't seen him in the. Uh, in the uh, Passing game much, but uh, when I've gone against him, he is a physical guy for a tight end. Did it look like Tony Jones had a good day today from Notre Dame, the Notre, Notre Dame, Dame running back? Oh, I, did, I didn't see him. They didn't notice him? No, sir. I, I think some scouts were talking to a guy from Notre Dame, so it might have been him, but yeah. uh, yes, sir. <laughs> hey, it's a, that's the other thing, Bryce, right? You don't know everybody. It's yes, sir. Like, that is. It's, it's only, it's only like day two yeah. you know, that, uh, that you've yeah. been uh, dealing with people. Bryce, thank you for uh, taking some time, no man. Problem. We, Really uh, wish you the best, man, and uh, hope all your dreams come alive, my yes, man. sir. Thank you. You got it. There you go, Bryce Huff. Of course, from Memphis, linebacker. Thank you, Bryce. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, sir.